you guys, it's your favorite little keto goofball diamond and today is day 957 of my ketogenic journey. 957 days and still counting. Almost getting to that thousand. Holy crap. Speaking of thousands, almost to 5k subs. Yay. This is awesome you guys. It's so wonderful to have you here with me and thank you for being here with me. Today, I'm going to talk a lot. It's what I typically do. Anyway, this is my journey of going from 311 pounds down to where I'm sitting today, which I'll get to in a chit-chat and a weigh-in, and uh, I'll show you everything I ate yesterday, and plus I've got a little bit of possible motivation for you. Now, like, subscribe, share, ring that bell, all that good YouTube jazz that helps this channel grow, and if you don't know, the subscribe button should be right about there, right down below the video, it's a red button that says subscribe, hit that, because I talk a lot about everything I know about keto every day. Now, let's rant, rave, and misbehave keto dime style. I have one egg fried in coconut oil with four sausage links, a squirt of mayonnaise, and some uh, cheddar, uh, American cheese. 12.30 in the afternoon. Broccoli and cheese cooked in coconut oil. I'm having two beef patties, half a slice of cheese, ketchup, and or, uh, organic ketchup and mayonnaise. You guys, I had a slim fast keto peanut butter cup fat bomb after breakfast, one after dinner, and a handful of pork rinds as I went to bed last night because my belly was growling. It was super late. Um, also... We did hit the gym, and uh, I do not recommend these keto sweets at all. Yes, they seem to work out fine, but they will kick up sugar cravings, so be mindful of that if you decide to try keto sweets. These are macros per my Fitness Pal website. 1,487 calories, 30 grams of total carbohydrates, that's counting the erythritol and everything, 135 grams of fat, and only 59 grams of protein. Gotta up that protein, especially since I worked out yesterday. So you saw what I ate yesterday, you saw everything I did yesterday. What you didn't see, of course, is that I am wore ass out. We did go to the gym yesterday, finally made it, did uh, hit the treadmill, felt great, felt really good. I haven't checked my blood pressure, really should, but I imagine it'll take a day or two for that to take effect. <clears throat> All that being said, I am under some serious stress. I'm very, very tired. Um, there's been a couple nights with very little sleep um, and mornings where I certainly didn't want to get up an hour early. Thank you, Daylight Savings Time, for that crap. Oh. <laughs> Morning, Kofibi. <laughs> and for those of you who wonder, I'm using the Buttery Caramel Food Line brand coffee with unsweetened vanilla almond milk. And I, I, I mix it up funny. I put it in a 16 ounce jar with unsweetened vanilla almond milk and like half a teaspoon of vanilla Lakanto, no, Lakanto, hell is it called? It's Lakanto powder anyway, it's, it's a uh, monk fruit extract, pure monk fruit extract, that's what it's called, Lord girl, it's too early, can you tell it's too early and I am lacking sleep severely, mm. all right, before we go any farther, <clears throat> Guys and dolls, I asked you a couple days ago to say a prayer if you were the praying type for a uh, lady in hot pink. Well, she did message me um, last night or send me an email last night, and she did post on uh, the channel yesterday, the video yesterday, that her husband did pass away. And of course, we are all very, very sorry for you, darling, sending you much love and many, many prayers and hoping that things work out as best as they can. And of course, God rest his soul and that just it crushes the heart and soul to hear stuff like that and I, I just hope the very best for you in the future and your family too of course because I know there are probably many people suffering this morning and I'm so sorry for your loss all right so um also got kind of an interesting email somebody asked me if a channel has advertisements on it is it monetized and for those of you who don't know what monetized means it means the channel gets paid per ad that's watched on on their videos so, like, every time you watch one of my ads, that racks up, like, a penny or two for me to get paid. So, yes, if a channel has advertisements on it, if there's any ads on that channel at all, that channel is monetized. 
Not real sure why they asked that, but yeah, if, if there's ads, it's monetized. Uh, okay. <clears throat> oh, Miss Zen sent me a, a message yesterday. She got her Shashka bracelets. Let me show you. If you don't know, I love Shashka. I really do. I've got tons of these bracelets in there. They are very inexpensive jewelry, and with my link below, you get 50% off. Plus, they are guaranteed for life, guaranteed to fit any hand, come in many shades and colors. So check them out. Like I said, the link's below, and you get 50% off. Yay. Uh, <laughs> I feel like an advertisement for Shashka, but I really do love them. I really do wear them every single day, like all the time, and I might switch them out, but I, I wear one every day, or three, or 12. Um... <laughs> uh, Oh, by the way, guys, if you need help with your macros, and I get these this email pretty frequently, I do have it listed on KetoDiamond.com, how to get your own macros, or you can send me an email. It's down below, and I'll answer any questions or concerns you have, plus help you get your macros. I need to know your height, weight, age, and how active you are, plus how long you've been doing keto. So just try to remember that when you send me an email. If not, it's okay. And, guys and dolls, I got another comment today that uh, Low Carb Pirate is a brand new channel. And she said I inspired her to start her channel, so you guys go show her love. Low Carb Pirate, all one word squished together, no spaces. Low Carb Pirate. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay. So, I've got a little something I want to talk to you guys about. Because I I hear things quite frequently. People uh, downing you, they're, they're, they're doubting you, telling you you can't do something and, and that's depressing to some people. And, they, and they'll quit or they'll have moments of failure because of it. Y'all, listen to me close. Your self-worth is not based on anybody else's opinion. It's based on yours, what you feel about yourself. Before I started keto, before I figured out how to save my own life, I knew I was dying. I knew I was. But worse than that, I was actually committing a very slow and painful form of suicide. Um, not intentionally, not meaning to, but I was pretty much eating myself to death. I was eating all the wrong foods, doing everything I could to deny the fact that I was doing stuff I shouldn't. I mean, in my mind, it didn't seem like I ate that much every day. And then one day I downloaded that My Fitness Pal and I added everything in. Holy crap, one meal from Sonic, just one, with a chili cheese fries, a cheeseburger, and a drink. That was like 1,400 calories, and I had no idea. I knew that I was getting so full I couldn't see straight, and that my belly felt like it was like going to explode, and I really should have stopped. But it wasn't simply a thing of I should have stopped. It was simply a thing of, holy crap, that is a lot of food, and I didn't even know it. Um, I was eating, of course, all the wrong foods. I didn't know how to change my life. But once I figured it out, I figured out a lot more. I am strong. I am me. And other people's opinions of me doesn't change who I am or who I want to be. I do that. I, don't, I can't base my happiness, my joy, my love, the way I see the world on anybody else's thoughts and opinions. And neither can you. You have to be your own person. You have to be strong. And ladies and gentlemen, man up. Okay? Because we cannot, we cannot let anybody else's opinions be what makes us or breaks us. Okay? Whether it's a hater, whether it's a friend, whether it's a husband, whether it's a spouse, whether it's a enemy. You can't base your life on what they think of you, okay? You have to have your own opinion of yourself and you have to find joy within yourself because nothing else is going to do it. Even if you're doing weight loss so you'll be happy, that's not going to make you happy unless you find a way to be happy. Unless you're, you you find a way to mentally feel the, the joy in your life or physically feel the joy in your life. Nobody else, nothing else, no amount of money, nothing will make you happy except for you. And you have to find that joy within yourself. You can't go through life based on other people's thoughts and opinions. So you can do this. You can do everything you set your mind to and you can be strong and you don't have to rely on or depend on anybody else to be the very best version of yourself you can be. You can't even rely on other people to make your meals or anything else unless, unless you need that kind of caregiver situation. But Rely on yourself as very much as possible. There are things, of course, that are going to be difficult for you to do for yourself. But if you're capable, if you're able, do it. Okay? Do it for yourself. Become the strong person that you are. Become the best version of yourself that you are. Be that keto. Be that homework. Be that whatever. 
You're the only one that can change your life. Just you. Nobody else. There are other people who can make it better. They can make you smile. And while we're at that, make sure you take a minute out of your day today, just a little moment, whether it's a comment, a like, or something, and give somebody else just a little bit of joy. Give, give a little bit of joy to a friend on Facebook or in, in public, in person. Give a nice smile. Hold the door open. Do something kind for somebody else today. And it might be a big thing. If it's a big thing or a little thing and you want to share it, tell me about it. Also, remember to take 15 minutes out of the day to show yourself a little self-love. Whether that's meditating, whether it's a walk, whether it's putting your feet on the grass. It's raining here today. It wouldn't be a good idea. Plus, it's like early March. It's a little chilly raining. <laughs> but take 15 minutes out of the day to do something just for you. Oh, and always make your next mojito. I say that a lot, but I just want y'all to know, did you fall off yesterday? It's okay today. Make your next milkita. Keep pushing. Now, let's go ahead and get to my weigh-in and we'll talk more about it. Good morning, you guys. Let's do it. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait. It's too early. I keep falling. <laughs> One seventy one. So down is down, and it's only 0 0.8 pounds down since yesterday, um, which is not bad. 0 0.8 pounds is not bad, you know, in a 24-hour period. However, I think over the last two days, it could have been a lot more, provided I had gotten a proper amount of sleep and rest and, and felt good. <laughs> I did not. Plus, I tell you what, every time I get on that treadmill, it seems like I slow down just a little bit. But mentally and physically, I feel better. So that's that hmm and my eating was pretty good yesterday uh, I don't know if I showed it because I dropped them and I threw them away after that I did have a few blackberries but I got them out of the fridge ate like four or five and then I dropped the blackberries on the floor and just chunked them so <laughs> I could have cried I love blackberries I learned a lesson though in that case the darker the berry the sweeter the juice I'm telling you those things if they're just slightly light purple they are bitter as hell, but dark, squishy ones, them are yummy. Them are really yummy. And that sounded perverted, I think, because I heard an old song with it in it. But in the case of raspberries, <laughs> oh, oh, I already told you I was having coffee. Y'all already know that. How do you see me do it all the time? Do y'all believe a few months ago I hated coffee and there was nothing in this world that was going to get me to drink it? Nothing. Ugh. But... I'm starting to love coffee. I didn't think that would happen at 41 years old, but hey, you know, I always wonder why all the older people drink coffee. I was like, this stuff's nasty. What's wrong with you? It's like unsweetened tea. It's dirty water. Why in the world? But <laughs> here I is. Um, I'm trying to make myself feel better today because I do feel kind of low and I do feel kind of um, withdrawn and uh, I guess a little depressed. I'm really not. It, it could be partially to do with some stress and the weather and things going on in my life. But right now, I just feel, uh So I think when I finish with this and I finish answering all your comments from yesterday and all the emails and everything I've got, I will do my 15 minutes for the day and I might make it 30. I might color for 15 minutes and read a book for 15 minutes. I don't know. Um, and if you can do it for longer, bless your heart, keep going. Uh, you know, if you got two hours to devote to that book, do it do it. Really ought to take a nap, but I know what's going to happen. If I try to lay down, grandbaby Anthony's going to be up here. He's going to squall because that kid, he loves to scream. That's what he does. Let me pause this. I'll take my blood pressure. We'll discuss it real fast together. And that's probably going to be a wrap after that. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to try to show you this if I can. It says 159 over 107. Resting heartbeat is 104. Resting heartbeat 104 is probably because I'm sitting here running my mouth and I don't think this makes me nervous, but maybe it does a little bit. Nah, I love dope. Um, but as far as I know, my resting heartbeat shouldn't be that high. And uh, of course, once it said it was that high, I could feel it in my chest, but I'm like, I don't know why it's that high. Um, probably going to take just a few minutes to let it, let it calm down. And then I'll be right back and show you a new blood pressure reading or another one. So I sit here for about five minutes. Um, I know that's not very long. I didn't want to make this video too long or make it. I wanted to get it done and up. <laughs> I do have some stress today going on. I am 
again, sleep deprived at the moment. And my blood pressure at this moment is still 144 over 104. Resting heartbeat, 96. I thought I said 94. Oh, well. That's current. Now, right now I'm thinking that stress has something to do with it. Also, it could be the morning kofifi. I need to start checking my blood pressure long after I drink this and see if this is affecting anything. Now, I know that it's not solely caffeine, although I do hear coffee has more caffeine than like diet soda or whatever. Um, I know it's not solely caffeine because I took caffeine out of my life for a while. That doesn't mean the coffee isn't jacking it up. So later in the day, I'll check it again and I'll post that tomorrow. Anyway, guys and dolls, don't forget to make your next mojito. Don't forget to comment if you need me or contact me if you need me. Don't forget to check the link below for uh, Lakanto Monk Fruit Sweetener and uh, also 15% off of like um, Keto Mojo, all that good crap. There's ways to support the channel below, including my Teesprings link where you can buy you a cool Keto t-shirt or you can support the channel in other ways with Patreon, PayPal, Amazon Wishlist, or um, a post office box if you'd like to send me a letter or anything. Anyway, guys and dolls, much love to you. I'll talk to you tomorrow.